Croco Hunter. I have a breaking news story, a great update that's going to bring me back to fame and fortune. See, when they took me off their learning channel, when I failed to produce a real life crack hell, when I was telling everyone there was a lair here in Springfield, the problem was an epidemic, it was much worse than what we thought. I thought I was crazy. Sure, I shot a pedestrian through the neck. So fucking what? Here it is, five years, six months, and two days later. My trail cam just showed me. Right behind Martinizing Cleaners on Cook Street, we've got a live crackhead in one of our nets. I'm going to be bringing you some live footage. Right now I'm getting some stuff ready. I'm going to have to have a grinder for the thumbnail. Get you with those would be nasty cuts. Definitely, definitely. Well, the goal is to try to really get one of these bitches tagged and back out into the wild before tonight. Get her inoculated and, and get her out there so we can study her habitat, see where she's going, see she's feeding. You know, and, um, when she's tricking, we'd like to know uh, what part of town she's she's favoring. And hopefully, she'll lead us back to the lair. And if you that are trying to be crocodile hunters out there doing your thing. I've appreciated all the calls and all the help. Most of them were bogus leads, but I just want to say, the first thing you need to do if you want to be a crocodile hunter like me is watch Dusk Till Dawn, because that's going to be your first clue what a crocodile is like. All right, so, all right, I'm going to get checking back in tonight. I'm going to show you. Uh, it's reading right here on the scale that she's 123 pounds. Not bad, not bad pretty excited so we're gonna go get this bitch branded get a get a tracker clipped on her ear and get her back out there in the wild you know, let her click her high heels and get on we'll even give her a new part see you tonight